Hey, a friend, Chris here from MyLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Welcome to day 11 in our Newbie to Ninja series here on the channel and website. We're gonna help you go from being a beginner in Logic Pro to becoming an expert, fully comfortable and capable to execute on your creative ideas with ease in this awesome application. Today, I wanna walk you through the different options you have in front of you when it comes to saving your Logic Pro projects. Because as it turns out, you can save your projects in two different formats, and each format has its own benefits. I also want to point out a couple of details that you might want to consider for the sake of future-proofing your projects, along with some other details along the way. Let's dig into it. In front of us, I have a little riff that I wrote with guitars, bass, and drummer, and I've already saved this project, but let's assume that this is a brand new project I haven't saved yet. I've just laid down a couple of ideas. And man, I'm loving what I've got here, so I better save before I lose anything, right? In fact, I'll even show you a quick blip of this riff. It's a bit of a dark, post-hardcore type of riff. Here we go. All right, so maybe not your cup of tea, but nonetheless, I'm, I'm pretty stoked on this riff, so let's save. To do that, let's go up to File in the menu bar at the top. Let's click and go down to Save As. The Save dialog pops up, and you'd be surprised how many really crucial decisions are being made in this first Save dialog. First, we need to decide where we want to save our project. And if you don't see everything that I'm seeing on screen, maybe it looks a little more like this. Well, in that case, you can choose to select where you want to save your project from this drop-down menu. But personally, I like to expand the save dialog so I can really see all my options. Now, out of the gate, for me, Logic Pro is offering to save my project on the desktop. But on your system, Logic may offer to save your project to a dedicated folder called Logic, which is in the music folder on your Mac system. In fact, if we go down to the dock here, and let's open the Finder, and let's go up to Go in the menu bar, and let's go down to home. And here the finder has navigated to my user folder on my Mac mini, and we can see the music folder right here, which houses the logic folder, among other folders such as GarageBand, Apple Music, and many other applications. So there's a possibility Logic Pro has maybe saved some projects in this folder on your system if you haven't specified a location. And in fact, if you wanna always have easy access to this music folder or the logic folder, you can actually drag this folder right into the sidebar in the favorite section in the finder. Now you can always go straight to the logic folder on your system very easily. Personally, I like to save my projects on an external hard drive, which I have right here. But for today, I'm gonna to save this project to the desktop. Next up, we need to name our project, which I'm going to call saving folders. And that's because I'm going to save this particular version of my project as a folder which brings us down to the Organize My Project As. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, there are two ways that you can save your Logic projects, and each one has its own benefit. I'm gonna go back to the Finder on my Mac, and notice that I have two save versions of this project already, one that I've called the original project, which is in a folder format, and then I have a package version of this project that I've called Saving Packages. If we take a look at the Saving Packages version, all we see is a single file, right? And that's kind of the benefit of the package format. The package format is a container that houses everything related to your project in a nice and tidy single file. Whereas with project folders, we dive further into the project folder, revealing a project file that we double click when we wanna open the project. And there are other folders as well for the different assets that you can save to your projects. Folders for audio files, any bounces that you bounce out of your project if you wanna share your project or song with someone else in a format that they can play on their device. Impulse responses from Space Designer, which is a reverb in Logic Pro. Samples for Alchemy and Sampler, Alterbeat, and more, right? So the main difference between packages and folders is that packages present themselves as a single tidy file that you can easily transport and share, while folders are more exposed and allow the assets to be a little more front-facing in your projects, making them more accessible. 
But of course, if you want to dig deeper into the packages for your projects, you can just right click or hold control on your Mac's keyboard and click with your mouse or trackpad. We'll get this pop up menu and you can then go down to and click on show package contents. And now we've dug into the package itself. We can start to look around at alternatives for project backup files. We can look at media files as well, but I'd be very careful about what you adapt and change within the package. All right, so let's go back to the desktop. Let's return to the save dialog. And I'm going to save my project with the title saving folders as a folder. And then the third section of the save dialog is probably the most important section of this entire dialog. In a nutshell, Logic Pro is asking which file types should be copied to the project file, regardless if it's a package or a folder. And this is really important because if we choose not to select the different file types that are relevant to the project, the files in your projects may not be saved to the project. And then maybe a week later, a month later, maybe years later, you may run into a situation where Logic Pro can't find the files that it needs to open your project and play back as you expect it to. And this includes everything from audio files to audio and sample data for the included software instruments in Logic Pro, such as Sampler, Alchemy, and Alterbeat, impulse responses for the Space Designer Reverb, any movie files that you might be using, and Apple Sound Library content. So personally, when I save a project, I save all these file types except for the movie file type because movie files can be quite big and I'm often not hanging on to movie files for a long time but your workflow may be different. So I recommend that you select every single one of these options that are relevant to your project. But for today's video, I'm going to deselect all these different options so I can illustrate what can happen if we don't select these different asset types. All right, so let's go to save. Let's now tab over to the finder and we have this saving folders folder that I've saved now. If we click on the audio files folder within the project folder, we can see there are no audio files that have been saved to this project. But if we take a look at the project, it's just about only audio files that I recorded. What the heck? Well, if we go to the project browser, which is this button in the upper right hand corner, and if we select on any one of these audio files for our project, and if we right click with our mouse or hold control on our Mac's keyboard and then click, we can ask Logic to show us where this file is in our Mac's finder. Okay, so we can see there's the file. And if we start to scan over, okay, audio files folder. Oh man, but that file's living in the original project folder, meaning that our project right here, the saving folders project, is not referring to its own audio files folder for all its audio files, but is instead referring to a completely different project for all of its audio files. And this is where things can get sticky. So I'm gonna close the project browser, I'm also going to close this project and let's just take our original project folder and I'm going to move this to the trash. Now I'm not gonna delete this folder. I've just moved it to the trash and we're now going to open that saving folders project. And double click, wait for logic to start up. And this is exactly the point because the saving folders project was referring to the original project folder for its audio files. The fact that I moved the original project to the trash has now caused problems for our saving folders project because the files that this project needs can't be found. Maybe you're not gonna trash your projects, but maybe you put them on a hard drive and then end up not having that hard drive with you when you need it. Maybe you installed the sound library content that comes with Logic Pro onto another drive and you don't have access to it. This can potentially cause problems for your projects. So. If we skip, we'll look at that. Oh man, we're gonna have to do this for all our audio files. So let's go to skip all. We open the project. And this is the casualty of not saving the different file types to the project itself. If we try to play back our project. All we have is drummer. We don't have any of the audio files. If we open the project browser. Oh no, we've got problems. So that's why it's really important in that first save dialog to save the different file types to the project itself. It will just ensure that your projects are future proof. So let's close out of this project. Don't save. Let's go to the trash. And let's restore the original project. Let's put it back. And now let's close the trash. Let's open the saving folders project. 
And now Logix still needs help to locate these files. So I'll click on locate. And right there, original project, audio files. Let's click on the file it's looking for. And once we click open, Logic is able to locate all the other files. So now we can listen to our project. Now, thankfully we were able to restore these files, but we still haven't copied those files to the project itself. So let's do that right now. In the event that you have a project where maybe it's referring to files across your Mac system, external drive or anywhere else, to fix this so your project is future proof, let's go to file, go down to project settings, and let's go to assets. And let's now select all the relevant file types. All right, let's close the project settings window. And now all we need to do is save the project. So we can either use the key command, command S, or go up to file and go down to save. If we tab over to the finder, look at that. Saving folders, audio file folder within, and all the audio files that this project needs to be able to play back and work as we expect it to. Now, not tomorrow, but later on in the series, we're gonna examine the different sharing options so you can share your projects with a friend or collaborator. And that's gonna point out another big difference between choosing whether your project should be a folder or package. Okay, I'll see you for more tomorrow in this Newbie to Ninja series here on Why Logic Pro Rules. Thanks so much and take care.